Hello and welcome to Adobe Photoshop CS2, where today we'll be focusing on the magic wand tool inside of Photoshop. It's a tool people seem to either love or hate, and I think that comes from the varied results you can achieve by using it. In my opinion though, it can be a very useful tool in certain situations, but only if you know how to adjust the various options inside the magic wand toolbar that accompanies the tool. You can see that I already have an image open on the screen that will hopefully allow me to demonstrate what some of these options do and how to apply them to your own images. First things first though, the Magic Wand tool is a variant of the Selection tool and what it enables you to do is to make a selection based on the brightness values inside of each channel. For that reason it's a very accurate tool, but only when used correctly. So let's select the tool over here in the toolbox. It's the one that has a little icon that looks like a magic wand. Or you can select it by hitting the W on the keyboard, or Shift W, depending on how your version of Photoshop is set up. And you can see now that we have an options bar at the top of the screen here. And that's it. That's all of the options you get using this particular tool. Now you may already be familiar with the options, None of these are exclusive to this tool, so they can be found in other areas of Photoshop. But what I'm going to do is just run you through them to give you an understanding of what it is they do. So over here on the left hand side you'll see four similar boxes. The first one allows you to create a new selection. The second one allows you to add to a selection that already exists in your image. The third one allows you to subtract from a selection you already have in your image and the final one allows you to intersect with a selection you already have. The next option is the tolerance value and you can see here that it's set to 32 by default and that is measured in brightness values. I'm going to bring over the info palette here so I can show you what's going on. Now when you make a selection in the image what it will do basically is measure the brightness value in each channel of the pixel you've selected. So just to clarify first and foremost, there's three channels in this image, red, green and blue. And each channel will have 256 different brightness values. Therefore when I hover the wand above a black pixel, I get a brightness value of zero in all three channels. Conversely if I hover the wand above a white pixel, the info palette will show a reading of 255 in each channel which of course is the maximum brightness value per channel. So here I've got the tolerance value set to 32 which means that the pixel I select with the wand will have its brightness value measured in each channel. It will then select every pixel that's within 32 brightness values either side of the selection. So what I'm going to do is select the tolerance and change it to zero so it will only select the pixels that exactly match the one I click on. And then I'm going to click inside this black square on the left hand side here. And as if by magic it selected the whole thing. And that's because all of these pixels have the same brightness value. Now if we go over to the second shape and select it, you'll see that once again it will only select the pixels that exactly match the one we've selected. So to say we have only selected the pixels that are pure black inside this shape. If I select a higher tolerance value, you'll see that the wand will tolerate a wider range of color, hence selecting more pixels. Now, on the right hand side of that, the anti-aliasing option smooths the edges of the selection, which will leave those ultra sharp edges behind and smooth them out nicely. Now the contiguous option, when selected, only allows pixels neighboring that of the selection to be included. So here you can see that if I have the contiguous option turned off and therefore when I select a pixel it finds all of the pixels in the whole layer that comply to that tolerance value. It doesn't select the bottom shape because that's on a different layer. In order to include that in our selection criteria we'll need to check the sample all layers option as I've done here, now when I click on a pixel 
it will tolerate 32 brightness values up and down of the selected pixel and it will include all layers within the image and just a note while I'm on the subject if we wanted to work with this layer we will have to make sure that the layer itself is selected inside the layers palette because you can't work on a layer that isn't active even though you have selected it and finally the sample size of the wand can be changed by clicking the eyedropper tool and selecting either point sample which only takes into consideration the exact pixel you've clicked on or a 3x3 three three or 5x5 five five average I tend to stick with the point sample when using the magic wand though as this gives you a lot more accuracy when trying to select specific colors or areas of the image well I hope you found this tutorial helpful thanks very much for watching